Hello guys, it's me Peter, and now I'm actually playing in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. And as you can see, I've just taken a bath. Huh, why does the, the camera make me look like that I'm kind of too white? Well, I don't know. This. Oh, I know. It's kind of taking a long time. This is the 2001 final. I don't remember if this guy actually appeared, appeared in the last. That's in the last animal or or battle simulator game. We didn't play. Okay. I wonder what's this red thing on his neck. Uh, it's. It kind of looks like the thing on a turkey. And then, and the, there is, is this new dinosaur that mm, I, I came up with. It's called the Crinosaurus Rex. And it's very, very small. Probably because it's just a Crylophosaurus. With lots and lots of spikes. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> Forgot. And all of those videos that I played Fit and Grow Fish, mm, well, not all of them, well, those latest of Fit and Grow Fish videos are actually he made after I wa was taking a holiday to Jakarta. And. It it's not just like two videos of that, there's actually a lot, but I haven't downloaded it yet, so you gotta wait after I download this one. No, two, two. Of course. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, that seems real painful. Well, actually, the spinals just biting the spikes. Oh, but the head is just oh. The neck is all broken. <laughs> oh! Oh well, I guess that's what's happened to the Crinosaurus Rex, and I think that's how they went extinct. They got killed by the Spinosaurus. Oh my god. Yeah, um, I don't know why, but the Cryolophosaurus, like one bite from a Spino or a T-Rex, immediately kills it. I don't think that's realistic. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Why? Okay, let's just end it there. And then, the, you remember that bonehead T-Rex? Well, now, oh, it actually has a color on its back that is blue feathers. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the only difference from the last time this bonehead guy I appeared. Oh, no, why? <laughs> I wonder why 
if you're looking that way. Kind of weird. Oh my god. The T-Rex is literally biting the Spino's jaw. So that means they're biting each other. Ooh, that's very, very uh, painful. Yeah, that looks real painful. Where are you going? Is the T Rex going to bite the spinal's neck? Well, the T Rex got the spinal's arm. Well, in real life, the arm would probably just fall off. Oh no, it's too expensive. Sure. Well, there goes the wrath of the blue T-Rex, and I don't know why, but it looks like it's eating its own foot. <laughs> and that's kind of gross. Well, actually, it's real gross. It's blue here. And he's going to die. <laughs> Probably because blue is just a normal Velociraptor that I decorated. Huh. Looks quite good. Even though the blue stripe is literally just feathers. Whoa. There goes food of Lost Raptor. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Okay, now well, let's try a dinosaur that cooked. It actually killed the Spinosaurus, like the Giganotosaurus. Yeah, I, yeah, and if you don't know, all of these creations, I made them all. And this is my interpretation of the Giganotosaurus that will appear in Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of weird. Well, probably because I'm an 11 year old now. Probably because, like, I don't know, a sev several day, mm, several old day, days before this recording, I actually had a birthday. So yeah. But still, uh, looks quite good to me. I wonder why that's. I wonder why that spike is floating. That's weird. And as you can see, it's actually bigger than the spinal. If you really want them to be up close, I can do this. Oh my god! Sorry! 
Oh, sorry, Mr. Spino. I should probably stop doing that. Giggle will win. Oh my god. Oh, it's just biting the uh, spinal jaw. Oh, and I think it also broke this final jaw. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Standing tall. Mm. Oh, that's really close. Huh, I wonder what they're doing just lifting their heads up. Come on, man. Kill him, digger! Kill him! Ooh, right on his neck! Got it hurt. Right on the arm, just bitten. Come on, don't let the spinal kill you. Ooh, look at that, just biting each other's neck. The Spino's biting the Giga's neck, and the Giga is biting the Spino's neck. Cool. Oh well, I guess the Spino got the first bite. Come on, Giga, don't, don't let this uh, Spinosaurus kill you. I was getting lots of bites. Oh no. I don't think the gig is going to win. Oh, come on. You've done it in the past, you should do it in the, the present. 
day. That's just the end for this final. There's also oh, more new creatures, like, what is like the, the Pedosuchus Rex, yeah, I dreamed to uh, discover her, a prehistoric crocodile that is smaller than the Purosaurus but stronger, and I'll name it the Pe Pedosuchus Rex. Here's the Scorpius Rex. Oh no, Pyrrhosuchus is going to die. I was right. And there's also this tiny snake called Wormy. Yes, I literally called it Wormy. But Mm, it's tiny, but it's actually quite strong. Mm, so, oh my god, it's so small. It has, I gave him the uh, H me, the HP multiplier by 200, but the attack is still the same. So, to kill it quicker, I'm going to use one of my creations called the Ultra Demon. Yeah, I don't know why, but just made this. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the worm. Literally just jumps and attacks the Ultra Demon's arm, I think. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, what the? And I don't know why, but Mr. Wormy here really likes to jump. God, I think the one that's making the game a little bit laggy is actually this one tentacle behind the 
Ultra Demon because it's trying to stab Wormy. Yeah, see that? Wormy really likes to jump. Oh well. I guess Wormy's dead. Yeah, Wormy's basically just a small titanoboa. And also, I created my own custom Styracosaurus. It's basically just the Triceratops, but I gave it more spikes on the head. And I also oh, increased the attack multiplier to 2. And then there's... Uh oh Come on. And there's also the the Stiggy Moloch. It's basically just a Pachycephalosaurus, but I put more spikes on the head, just like the Styracosaurus. And let's see who would win. Oh no! They're just going to head by each other. Oh, right on the head. Oh, well, that seems very painful. Oh, stabbed by three horns. And also, oh, the Stiggy Moloch is literally doing the splits. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, uh, wait a minute, where's the ha Oh yeah, and the, the sticky walk's dead. <laughs> oh yeah, it's real dead. Oh, that's sad. His HP multiplier is 3 and attack multiplier is 5. There's also the Mega Hydra. It's basically just the Hydra with, but with a lot of weapons. And there's also... Uh -oh. The feathered Terrazinosaurus. Probably the oh, this is actually the Kumanga. Sorry. Here's the feathered ter the feathered Terrazinosaurus. Mm. The reason why I, I made the feathered Terrazinosaurus, probably because this is the Terrazinosaurus in the game uh, doesn't have feathers. And I gave, gave it lots of feathers and the tail. Yeah, I see. Yeah, to me it looks very accurate. <laughs> no, just kidding. I wonder who would actually win. Look at its arm there, ready to stab the Hydras. I don't know. Come on, stab him. Stab him. 
Oh my god, his head is really just getting eaten. And plus, I gave the uh, I gave the Hydra some crossbows, and there's literally an arrow in the Tarzanosaurus's face. <laughs> I don't think the Terrazinosaurus is going to win. Oh well, yep, it's dead. But what about against a normal Hydra? Hmm. I think the Feather Terrazinosaurus might win because, well, because I gave it the um, gave the HP multiplier two and attack multiplier also two. Yeah, I have high hopes on the uh, Terrence and Taurus. Oh, I'm just getting bitten. It's like the scene when Ghidorah actually... It's like the scene when Ghidorah's three heads clamped on Godzilla to drain its energy. I think all three of the heads are actually biting the terrace and swords. Well, one of the heads dead. Here goes the Hydra. And also I made 
a very large unit called the Kaijusaurus. It's basically just a T-Rex with a lot of armor, a lot of spikes, and, and also some missile launchers. I don't know why, but this thing kind of remind me of those monsters that appeared in Ultraman. Because it's so well, I don't know, poorly made. And I'm going to fight this guy with the tiny, uh, porcupine. Yep, it's dead. Look at him there, standing tall above the ground. And also the porcupine that's just dead. And also getting stomped. Okay, so I think that's it for this video guys. Bye!